Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. We just had our first night there and in the hotel. The, be the bed was actually very, very comfortable. Um, com you know, compact. The shower was actually quite well uh, fit for purpose, uh, even though it was like a weird cubicle type setup, but it was very good. Today, what I'm going to have in store for us is a uh, walk around Belfast. I'm going to head up towards uh, the Shank Hill Road, Falls Road, and hit a few uh, tourist points around here. Um, and then we'll be heading out to the hockey game. So the weather is, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a wet, rainy day. So it'll impact a little bit, but it won't stop me from vlogging and showing you what we have to offer in Belfast City. Hello, just had a coffee and a pineapple piece and then we had a breakfast at McDonald's and then I was just walking around. I just came up on this crown entry. It's uh, rebellion and freedom in the air, plans laid down, so Crown Tavern. Uh, faced into the high street is popular for all kinds of social and business gatherings. It's said that here a small group of radical Presbyterian merchants formed the United, uh, Society of United Irishmen in 1791. And let's see what walk down here. They have murals here. It looks pretty nice. Give me a with his little face there. Just keeping you along with for the ride. Like I said, I don't know where I'm going around, just gonna walk around. There's a few spots I want to hit, and then around 10 o'clock or so, I'll be heading my way towards the Shank Hill and the Falls Road. It doesn't look like much here. It's just, I don't know if it opens up to something or. I would see. Where are we going? There's the square, so. Crown entry. Hmm. Not really sure what that is, so let's just keep walking around here. There's Poundland, which is deals in. The Republic. Shops are still closed. They're getting ready. A few shops are open though. Cause, uh, Emily's ran off to uh, Next. Said it's opened up early. So there's a trespass store. Joy's Entry Jailhouse. So let's take a look at what this is. Obviously not open yet, but just want to see what it looks like. It looks really neat. Henry and the jailhouse. Wow. Looks pretty cool. Henry joins the Kraken. That was interesting. Wonder where this goes now. Wonder if this goes back the same way I came. This looks nice. Sides. Wow. It's magical. This is cool. Very cool. Now we're back on the same place as we came out before. Um, there's a sign that says to the Odyssey. So we'll be going there tonight. Probably take a taxi there around six, six-ish. 
the doors open at 6 and the game starts at 7 and you can't go in before 6 so there's a nice mural on the side of the building don't know if you can see it if it picks it up beside it's a river house there's a nice big monument up ahead so we'll take a picture we'll take a gander at that and see what that's all about see it's still early a lot of places are still not opened up yet Lots of little alleyways that go back and forth between these two roads. Here's a little. Little is very popular in Wexford. Although there's one in Wexford, but there's three Aldi's in Wexford town, so I prefer the fruit and veg from the uh, little. But the rest of the stuff I like Aldi for. And I like the fact that no matter where you are, which store, you know where the layout is and where it's gonna be. So it's the ease of shopping. It doesn't seem to be raining now, which is good. Hopefully it stays off. Like, here's a nice old building. You know, it's funny, it's a mixture of architecture. You have the real old buildings and beside it you can have like a modern one but it's really nice look at that looks like art deco on the side of that building the tiles very good and there's some more murals on the side Ulster Sports Club established 1927 Here's an interesting building at the corner. See the round top? Uh, looks like a tower at the top, but it's too big to be a tower. Let's cross over here. Queen Square. Subway to Queen Square. Hmm. There's a subway. Light Union. And then look at this big clock tower. It's very interesting. It goes all the way up there. Let's go, go across the street and we'll take a look and we'll see the other parts of it. Let's pass over now. And here's the here's a sculpture here. Pink yolk. Capitalism kills. It says on the side. And then the Albert clock. That's what it is. It was established in 1869. It's way up there. four sides of it and then uh, and then one more side and then we'll head up and see what we can see on the uh, other side I see the uh, cranes for Harrow and the Wolf so we'll take a look at that now the rain's coming Here's an old building, right beside the Royal Mail. And then if you look, as you walk it a little bit further towards the, uh, you see the highway in the background, or the foreground, and then you see the Harwin and Wolf Crane in the back. The shipyard makes so many ships, including the Titanic, like I explained. And my, uh, my grandfather worked at there at one point when he was living here before he had to emigrate to Canada and here we go there's a trough 1859 and the fountain around it Oh, 
Strawberries Fountain. There's a big, looks like a salmon there. Take a look and see what that is. And I think if you go across the road, on the other side of the water, you can see a bubble there. I think that's, is that where the Odyssey is? Or I think it's on the other side somewhere. I'm not really sure, but that's why I'm gonna take a taxi. It's just safer to be there. Look at this big fish. In the interest of safety, no climbing on the big fish. Well, I wasn't gonna climb on it. It's interesting though, it's all different tiles. Take a look on the other side of it. So this is on the Belfast Key. Big buoy over there. And we'll stop it there and we'll head off to a different area and I'll pop it back on. Starting to get a little harder now. Well, you saw this common market area. I saw these two sculptures. I thought they looked interesting, so I'll show you. Here we go. We're heading back in towards the city's part. I'm gonna probably look to find a place to have a coffee, not that I want a coffee, but just to wait for the rain to subside a bit. So Gordon Street and Dunbar Street. An interesting place, Circus Okay, what do we have here? Let's just take a look. Let's see what's on this side. Let me go this way first. It's a beautiful sunny day in Ireland. We'll walk this way a bit and try to find refuge in a coffee shop for a while. Belfast Cathedral Center. Oh, there's a nice big cathedral. We'll take a look at that. Go by the front part of it and see what it has happened. A little history about my mom's family. Um, my granny was Catholic from uh, Belfast. My grandfather was from Carrickfergus, and he was a uh, Protestant. He uh, was a wealthy, had a wealthy family. He uh, grew up in India in a plantation they had, and he was in the merchant uh, marines, and he drove the uh, the boats up onto the beach in, on D-Day. Um, he was lost at sea at one point, and his ship was sunk by a torpedo, and him and another 11 Marines survived. After two weeks, they were rescued by a Spanish fishing boat. And uh, well, they had he had to immigrate to Canada because his family didn't want anything to do with him after he married my granny. And they never talked to him except I think when on his deathbed, when he was dying in the house, his sister Annie came and saw him. Uh, but that, that was it. The whole family. So he gave up a lot to be with my granny. My granny never, like, he died young. He was, I don't think he was 50 years old. And she never married or had anything else because she lost the love of her life when he passed away. 
So, so Belfast always has a special place for me, you know. There's a nice big cathedral. There's a nice square, green part. Ulster University is right there. So if you want to orientate yourself, see where you are. By the cathedral here. There's a nice old building there being renovated. You can see it's a rather old building. And here's the cathedral in front. There's the cathedral, there's my favorite. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm gonna pause off. I'm gonna stop the uh, vlog now and look for something else or a place to uh, have a coffee. Building here, the Belfast Telegraph. So that'll look very interesting. The clock on the side of the building and the, the red brick really stands out. Interesting part of the city. Make my way back in. Just wanted to show you that. Let's see, there's the library beside it. Nice old buildings there, even that corner one. Look at the way it splits the street in two. Here's a nice old building, the Bank of Ireland buildings. It's a big white stone. Followed the opposite street, looks like an old Tudor style. And then you have like a Joker tattoo on the side. And so we're on Royal Avenue right now and North Street. And there's a mural with eyeballs on the side of the building. And, that, and then Cafe Nero. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in there, try to dry up a little bit, have a coffee orientate myself, find out where places I can go to that's close to us, and work my way towards the falls uh, and the Shanko. Well, there's Castle Court, so that's the food court we were in. So give you an idea where we are. And then Cafe Nero. Where we can get a nice 